Hi students and welcome back to Succeeding Computer Practice with Mr. H and here we are going to now discuss how to create an electronic form in Microsoft Word. Now this is question two of the document that we've been working with, the task that we've been working with and you can download this document in the description section just below the video as well as the data source file needed. So here we have question two. Scroll to the second page of the document and name named smoking policy and do the following instructions what that means is in the previous question you were supposed to go to the you were supposed to create this citation or insert citations and then scroll to the second page of the document where you are going to create an electronic form similar to this document that i have over here first document and then you scroll down and you have your second document you have to go then and insert all the relevant information based on the instructions given. Now, I've already created the framework here. And all that I want you to do is to go and physically go and insert the text controls. All right. So if you scroll down to the actual question, these this is what we're going to have to do. Change the question number in the header to question two. I've already done that for you or actually not we have to change this to question two all right close the header now next one recreate the registration form above by following the instructions as set out now i have recreated the structure here and all that we have to now go and do is we have to go and insert our text controls Activate the Developer tab by customizing the ribbon. All right. To insert or to create an electronic form, you have to go and add another tab to your Home tab keys. Now, normally, we only have File, Home, Insert, Design, Layout, References, Mailings, Review, and View. But there's actually another tab, which is the Developer tab, that we have to use or can use if you want to use an electronic form. To activate the developer tab, you have to click on file. You will then go down to options. And under options, you are going to select customize ribbon because you want to go and change the ribbon. You want to go and customize it. All right. Under customize ribbon, the second option or the second block that you see here, customize the ribbon option you are going to select there you see there's home there's insert design layout all the all the, the the usual ones but you will notice there's one that is not selected and that is the developer tab make sure that you tick inside the text box there select the developer tab and then you can click on ok when you go back to your home tabs you will see that you now have a developer tab and that is the one that we are now going to use all right and what we're going to focus on is the controls so these are my these are my control keys that i'm going to use all right now we've activated the developer tab by customizing the ribbon now incorporate the following criteria into your form based on the instruction below and in the screenshot. Insert all text as indicated. Now in the screenshot, they are talking, sorry, not this one, the question paper. What they are talking about is all of these instructions that we have to go and insert. Now, I'm going to follow these instructions as well. So plain text plain text content controls needs to be inserted where must this be inserted so surname and initials must be a plain text all right title has to be a title has to be a drop down list the non smoker options over here must be text box content controls the address in the postal must be plain text controls 
code has to be plain text code cell number they are all plain text date needs to be date picker all right those are basically the ones that we have to use all right so let's see surname and initial just behind it they must be let's just go double check surname and initial needs to be plain text so under my control key i have if i hover my mouse over the first one that's rich text the second option there is plain text so if i click on plain text i basically have inserted my first plain text control then the second one is title and title has to be title has to be a drop down list so title let's see the second option there is picture content the second option is building block then checkbox combo drop down list click on that one and drop down list gives me the option to have a drop down what is the electronic form An electronic form is a form that someone can fill in by just physically choosing the options or directly typing in the information into the form instead of printing out the form and writing it in manually quite a lot of forms like that exist on the internet that you have to fill in but now you don't necessarily have to go and find a form you can create one yourself by using the developer tab so choose an item this is a drop down list and let's see by looking at the instructions here i see that i have mr mrs miss and doctor as options over here how do i get it like that first of all make sure that you click on your option or the, what you want to work on your drop down list and then you go to your control section group and you select properties under properties you can add the following content you can add what is the first one there option the first option there is mr click ok the second option is miss click ok third option is mrs click ok and the last option is doctor and then you click oh okay and you will notice now you have those options available so whoever needs to fill in their name and surname can also choose uh are they mr miss mrs or doctor all right next one the address oh no before that let's use the, um, the table over here non-smoker and this must be Xbox content controls. So I'm going to put my cursor where it needs to go. And I'm going to find the one that says checkbox content control. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to do the same with the others as well. All right. So whoever needs to fill this in can just physically click inside the checkbox content controls, if whatever option either they're non-smoker ex-smoker or they are a smoker under the address residential and postal it needs to be plain text controls all right so plain text remember it's this one so how many are there is three three so the first one We add another one and we add another one. All right, code, what must code be? Code needs to be also plain text. So code, code. Cell phone number, 
plain text, date must be date picker. So date picker is this one, so we click on it so that whoever needs to fill in the date, a calendar will then appear for that section. All right, so, so that is how you would basically, very basically create an electronic form. And then you can send this, you can actually save it, and then you can send it to whoever you want to go, or you need some, whoever needs to fill this, this, this form in for you. All right, and then they would just choose whatever options they need to go in and, and insert basically. All right, so this is a very useful option or skill to to have if you want to to to, to just make uh, filling in a form or filling out a form um, much easier. There are other options that we didn't discuss because this is a very basic example of how to create an electronic form. But please, I would actually advise you to play around, create your own um, electronic forms, however which one you want to create, it's your own options, and then try to play around with the controls that you have over here. Like for example, um, see what the design mode does, go into properties and see what options is there. Um, and then also, go into the briefcase, this, we, this one you only get if you use a design mode. Um, go into the briefcase and see what options you have over here because there's quite a few nice little shortcut options available for you. So play around with the developer tab and see how you can explore your knowledge of how to create an electronic form. So thank you students for watching and join me in the next video where we will discuss uh, question three.